This video will teach you how to use Visual Slope to design a tunnel lining. If you like Visual Slope you can download Visual Slope at www.visualslope.com. We will use this as an example, the tunnel is in a horseshoe shape with width and height of about 7 meters and 30 meters below surface. The ground is assumed to be uniform for simplification. But you can use as many layers of soil as you want. The ground conditions are follows. Soil type is soft rock, density is 23, elastic modulus is 4.8 to the 6, Poisson's ratio is 0 0.28. The load conditions are. The vertical pressure is 1.5 B gamma, which equals 260 kPa, load combination 1 including vertical pressure but no horizontal pressure. Load combinations 2 including whole vertical pressure and horizontal pressure equals half of the vertical pressure. Load combination 3 including whole vertical pressure and horizontal pressure. The tunnel lining consists of two types of steel sections. Now let's open Visual Slope. Now the file selection page appears. In this page you can either select an existing project or a new project. We select a new project. Then we click the OK button. This is the project setting page. In this page we can set the project titles, choose the unit for lens and unit for force to use. After that, we set the range of analysis from left to right, from top to bottom. Once the data are all set we click the OK button. If you want edit this page, you can always come back. This is the main page of Visual Slope. To learn how to set up a model for analysis please watch Visual Slope modeling video. Now let's set up the material property first. In this project the materials we will use include soil which is softer rock, and tunnel lining. Click the material property button, the material setup a page appears, from which we choose soil material first. Since there is no material for soil setup yet, we choose new. The soil property setup page appears. In this page we type in the soil name, the unit weight and the saturated unit weight. Cohesion and the friction angle are not necessary for this project. We go to the advanced parameter page to set up the elastic modulus and the Poisson's ratio. After finishing, we click the close button. Now soft rock is shown in the soil list. Now let's set up the material property for tunnel lining. Choose beam and pile. The beam and pile property page appears, in which type in the required data. After finishing, Click the close button. The lining now is in the list. For the second tunnel lining material property, we will withdraw it from the material database. Now we can close the material setup page. The materials where appear in the material tray. Now let's set up the model. Set up the ground first. Choose Geo line. Type X and Y coordinate for the start point separated with a space. And then hit enter. Use the same way to set the end point. To quit drawing, click the right button of the mouse. Use the quick boundary option to set up boundary condition. Assign material property to the ground.
Now let's set up the tunnel lining. Click the generator button and choose tunnel lining generator. The tunnel lining generator page appears. In this page different shapes of tunnel lining can be generated but they must be symmetric. We choose the any shape option. With this option, tunnel section can be any type of shapes consisting of curvature and straight lines. The first line must start from the top of the tunnel and the last line must end at the bottom of the tunnel. Only right half of the tunnel section needs to be specified. First specify the coordinates of the tunnel top. If the tunnel section only consists of curves, choose curve only option. Let's first generate a circular tunnel. We just need enter the coordinates of the tunnel center. Select the tunnel lining material and then click the view diagram button to view the tunnel lining. Now let's generate a tunnel section with 5 arcs. We just need to enter the coordinates of the centers of those 5 arcs in the clockwise order. Now let's use the horseshoe generator for our example. We need to input the center coordinates and radius of the tunnel top curve. Input the height, h, as shown on the diagram above. And the width of the tunnel, b, as well as the curve connection width, t. Input radiuses for the bottom curve and corner curve. After finishing, we can view the diagram. Zoom in to see details. Add hinges in. Now let's start to set up loads. We can set up the vertical pressure by clicking the vertical pressure button. The vertical pressure input box will appear. In the input box, you can set up up to four types of vertical pressure. Provide the name of the pressure, the magnitudes of the pressure at two edges, and the distances from the edges. If A and B are set to zero leave for blank this means the pressure acting on the full width. Use the similar way to set up the horizontal pressure. Once we have set up the each individual load, we can establish the load combinations, 
by clicking the load combination button. The load combination setup page appears. In this page you can set up up to four types of load combinations. The first combination includes the self weight and the vertical pressure. Use the similar way to set up the rest of load combinations. After finishing close the box. Now we have completed modeling for the tunnel lining and the load conditions. We can close the generator. Let's change the material for the bottom curve. Now we're ready for analysis. Click the analysis button. The analysis page where appear. In this analysis we choose including ground option. Which allows us not only to calculate the internal forces in the tunnel lining but also to calculate the ground deformation and the stresses. Mesh will automatically be generated and the initial stress of the ground will also be calculated. It will take a while for calculation. The initial ground deformation will be ignored in the following calculations. Now let's analyze the tunnel lining under the different load combinations, using FEM analysis. This is the bending moment under the load combination 1. And deformation. This is the bending moment, and deformation under the load combination 2. And then load combination 3. Now let's see the ground conditions under the load combination 3. Let's zoom out to see the ground movement. This is the ground settlement due to tunneling. The ground shear stress. Draw a line to fetch the data. This concludes this presentation. Thank you for watching.